Let's take a look at a setting in EasyCAD that someone brought to my attention recently after they watched my 1mm marking stainless video when I tried to actually cut through stainless and it didn't work out so well. So this setting is called Wobble. It's available in the pen parameters and let's demonstrate it and look at it and also look at the description of it in the EasyCAD manual so we can get an idea of what it does and what the purpose is. So first I'm going to draw a little circle here. I'm going to make this a 10mm circle and we're going to use this as our demo. So if we just mark this as it sits, it would just be a single line. Now, if we instead went to our pen parameters over here, saw that we have pen zero selected, and we made sure the use default parameters button is unchecked, went to the advanced button over here, and we saw in the upper right corner, there's a section that says wobble. I've got it checked right now. It will probably be unchecked when you go into it for the first time. So we'll check that, and you get to choose a diameter and a distance for this setting called wobble. So what it's going to do is essentially mark this 10 millimeter circle. Notice there's no hatching, it's just a line right now. But it's going to do it in a spiral pattern. So it's going to make the diameter of the spiral at 2 millimeters, and it'll make the distance between each center of the spiral at 1 millimeter. And we can look at the manual, and you can see how they describe it. They essentially say it's used to make a single line bold. And they say the diameter is just the width of the line. So in our case, this is a two millimeter diameter certain spiral let's say and it's going to mark up the center of this line so effectively our line is now going to be 12 millimeters the outer part of the circle we mark and the inner is going to be eight millimeters and the distance between every circle should be one millimeter and they describe that as well so they tell you the effect so if your value is too large you'll have shading if the value is too small it's going to be way too much marking time essentially like a tight hatch so let's actually do this. We're going to do this at 2 millimeters, and we'll leave the distance at 1 millimeter. We'll say OK. And as long as we have pen 0 selected, which we do for this one, we can choose our object. We will light it up. And this is the same 1 millimeter piece of stainless that I was using previously. So let's go. And this is just going to mark once. And we're at 50% power, 100 millimeter speed to keep it slow so we can actually see it, and 25 kilohertz frequency. So you can kind of see what that did. It's kind of a dense pattern, but you can see, and let's put a caliper on it real quick just so we can verify the dimensions. All right, I'd say the outside is 12, the inside is about 8. So it looks like pretty consistent with what was expected. Just for fun, let's change the settings once. So just to see what the effect would look like if we made this a lot larger, let's make the diameter of the circle three millimeters, but now let's make our distance also three millimeters. Let's say, okay, let's light it up, move over there, stop and mark. So you can see we essentially have a much more spread out spiral. So after playing with this a little bit, I would say some of the best uses of the wobble setting would be to add thickness to a, an outline. If you just have a line and you don't want any hatching, the only downside is you have to remember that you're going to mark your diameter around that outline, so you're going to have a little bit of distance on either side of it. You can also get better coverage of an area. Instead of just hatching, you can add a wobble to the hatch, and then you can get through an object a little bit easier. And lastly, you can use this for interesting designs. So I was unaware of this setting until someone brought it to my attention, so I'm assuming other people might benefit from knowing about it too. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know.